Hey, what's good? Now, this video is part of my uh, tips and tricks of Warzone 2 and how to improve. Um, definitely more videos going to be dropping soon. Hopefully, you know, once, once a week, I'm definitely going to try and get uh, one of these videos to drop. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. It's just going to be a breakdown of um, a good gameplay that I've got. This one is in solo duos. Uh, I can't actually remember how many kills I get, but... Um, yeah, so we do a land observatory. There's two guys underneath. Uh, best thing to do is get roof control as soon as possible. And, you know, you can just shoot down into these little uh, little windows. And it just gives you complete power because they, they just can't even touch you, basically. Um, I do drop down because I hear them fighting. There is that guy. It was a sweat. Um, he did reach out. That's why I just kind of... I made sure my aim was still there. Like I didn't run away. I didn't run towards him. I just waited for the reach out um which he did and we managed to clean up that kill easy little two piece there nothing too special we had the guy up top so we went over to him um right now we're actually waiting for the stronghold to open and we are getting pushed by these two guys uh so i kill one and then i do a, a flash check so just to see if the other guy was going to come right behind him in the same direction he would have got flashed um I mean, necessarily, we're not even using that to flash them. Uh, we're just checking for info. Um, so we chuck that flash, and, you know, if, if we get the hit marker, then, well, yeah, one, they are flashed, and two, we know where they are. Um, so we're using that for information. We do get a UAV. I do push this guy, but he's not where I thought, thought he was. He's wrapping around the back of the building. Start getting shot from the top of observatory. Uh, this guy plays it really weird. I remember this. This is a weird fight. I thought he'd run out and chow me. Uh, but he's just, I don't know, hiding in a corner. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, so we clean up those kills. We m move on to the buy station. And um, because we got the white box from the stronghold building, we had loads of cash. We're able to get both our guns here. Rocking the Fennec and the RPK, I believe, in this. Two guys above me. Well, one's above me. Hear him above me, and we go out to chal him. Get the cleanup, so it's a 1v1. You can see he's running towards that dome. Um, yeah, so we run over to him and hope to, you know, catch him off guard. He, he is up top, so I'm playing this a bit cautious. He precisioned as well. He ran away. He's a little beam there. Run up, use the dolphin dive because he did... Um, he did precision, so he just needed to get out of that, that area as quickly as possible. So I didn't really focus on the fool there too much. Uh, we loot up real quick. So we're in a nice position here. Uh, we cut over to... I fly down all the way to Hydro. And now these guys are sweats. Uh, we come across them later in the game and they get very mad. Very angry that I killed them. Pax FPS. And I think... I can't remember the guy's name, but they get very mad as you'll see. As you as you will see. Um, yeah, so we're sitting about 8k right now. We're just trying to rotate. We do start getting shot in the back. I think this is this is where a fight is teammate. He's a sweat. Absolute sweat. Absolute demons. See, he was pre-aiming that door. Because he see, saw me run in. Knew what angle... Um, he, knew, he knew what sort of um, angle I was getting shot from. So he just pre-aimed that door. Which is a really good and smart play. Like, if you see somebody run into these buildings, just think about the angles that they might take to come and shoot you back. Um, so he pre-aimed that beautifully there. So I know this guy's sweaty, so I'm literally just hiding in this corner right now. I'm just hiding, waiting for him to push. Um, and this is a really good spot. Any staircase. Almost, you, you want to kind of tuck yourself in the corner a bit. I do get some shots off, but he's broke me, so I disengage from the fight. I do a quick shoulder peek to see if he's pushing. He is pushing. I throw a flash to stop the push. And we reposition. Now we do a... Because he's, you know, quite a good player, and you can tell. Um, I do a, a wild um, reposition here. I just completely leave the area so he hasn't got my footsteps. I do buy a Yui. And we play it kind of slow here. Play it very slow. We're just waiting. We are just waiting. We know he's in the building. I think we just seen him. Yeah, top left. He 
hops out after not seeing me. And there you go. That Luke GG guy gets very mad later on in the game, as you'll see. Okay, so we're on 10 with 48 up. With any good kill game, you just want to keep the pace moving. I think this is where I die. Yeah, I get unfortunate timing. I didn't get to land in the window as I originally planned. Um, it, I don't know. The game sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, we could come over here, grab our loadout, regain. Um, we see some fight in there. Uh, that was dead unlucky to not get the down there. I thought I'd put enough bullets in him. Um, you even hear me like, bro, just died. <laughs> This guy, oh, this guy standing in the open. He tries to fire a quick, uh, quick snipe, but he does not succeed. And again, same corner, same staircase. We shoot those bodies. <laughs> we love shooting bodies. Uh, right, so we grab the heli and uh, we just keep it moving. Any high kill game, you just want to keep the pace going. From kills to kills to kills. And a heli can... Um, really allow you just to move across the map a lot especially in this in this game where there's no uh balloons or you know any of the methods of uh moving around helis are actually really good but they're very easily beamable i start shooting this this guy in the uh car i uh, do manage to disable it but not actually manage to get the kill we see him behind the tree still he's running i think i love the heli here yeah, absolutely launch it at him. Easy kill. Now, we're a bit scared at the moment because we don't know where his teammate is. He wasn't a team wipe. Uh, so he does have a teammate somewhere. We just managed to get back to this ridge for a bit of cover. Um, and then we move back. We keep it moving back. I think I grabbed my Fennec from this loadout. Yes, I do. We come back over here. This guy's fighting all around it. Airstrikes. Didn't get the notey. Love that. We've got airstrikes, mortars, we've got everything. There's a guy in here. We get the we get the kill and we just dip out. There's too much stuff going on. So there is a guy in there. I did see a guy running down the uh, the hill to my right there. So we know there's at least two. These are the sweaty guys from earlier. Yeah, this is that Luke GG kid. I, th I think he gets angry in the match chat when um, I kill his teammate, which is him right there, I believe. So we hit him with the precision just so he can't, like, peek. Um, he's literally having to trap, and it allows me to then get a complete different angle. So this is really important when you're trying to break down a squad. Um, you want to make it seem like there's more than one of you at all times. And by the only way you can do that is by switching the angles constantly. Don't just sit in one angle waiting for them. Look, see, he's still looking where I originally shot. And then it allows me to easily clean up there. Look, Coinsy, you're trash. This is where I should die as well. I get absolutely one shot. Hit him with a stun. And beautifully. Be if I may say so myself, that was beautiful. See a guy out in the open. Nice, easy, clean kill there. Okay, we're on 18 kills. There is nine remaining. Um, but yeah, you know, you just got to keep moving. It's the most important thing you could possibly do, especially when you're trying to break down a team, like hitting more angles than you can possibly know. You know, it just makes them believe that there's more than one of you. And when a team knows that there's um, only one of you, they play a hell of a lot different to if they think there's more of you. So there is that as well. Hit, hit with a stun here. Nice, easy two kills. I'm on 20 kills with seven remaining. Seventh zone closing in. We do get a good position here on top of this roof. Just allows us to check most of the angles. We start getting beamed. Not bothered about re that. We just need to get plated back up. We do have a durable gas mask, so I think... Yeah, I'm, and to be fair, I could have even gone to the further building behind and got a better position there. If you're playing for the win, that would be the smartest move. I think I was playing for kills, though, so I kind of just chilled around here, hoping to catch people rotating. Didn't manage to get down, but I do get spotted, and this guy um, lays some shots off, but it's not enough. It is not enough. 
So now without even replating, I'm just trying to get a better position. I get round the corner and I play play it up. Um and then we just need to get to the top of this building and we're in a fantastic position for endgame. Hit a reload. They are starting to fight. Managed to clean up that kill. Know that there's at least one behind below me. Turns out there's actually two. Easy kills. One left. We're not sure where he is. But we're going to assume he's rotating with gas with a gas mask or something. There he is. And there we go. Easy dubs there. Easy dubs. I hope you learned something. And um, make sure you're dropping a like, comment if you want to see more of these. You know, let me know what it is you want out of these. I hope you learned something today. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take it easy. Peace.